Uh, Aisha says, what are the legitimate reasons for which one can break their salah? Is responding to parents calling, etc., uh, included, included in this? First of all, prayer is divided into two types. Fard prayer and voluntary prayer. Fard prayer, you do not break unless it is something of a necessity. So, if I'm praying fard prayer, let's assume I don't live close to the masjid. And my alarm clock is set off. And it's far. So, I say, okay, I'm going to break my prayer and, 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 and turn it off and then pray again. No, this is not a, a necessity. If the phone rings, this is not a necessity. If the doorbell rings, this is not a necessity. So, fard is different than voluntary. If someone is dying, this is a necessity. If someone is about to fall, a blind man is about to walk into a well and fall, this is a necessity. If someone has a heart attack and no one to take care of him except me, this is a necessity. In voluntary prayers, it's much easier. So even if you break it, it ranges between disliked and permissible. But in fard, no, it is haram. You have to continue unless it is a legitimate reason.